and welcome back in today's video drill down we're going to look at two articles about ripple really exciting news and different things to me i don't really feel like i can bring value about the lawsuit so that's not really a topic that i'm going to be sharing with you in these article drill downs it's more about ripple's business anything that impacts xrp and anything that is new news or little nuances that we might have missed these nuggets um, just looking with a broader brush. So today we're going to talk about this article first. Ripple's CBDC Voyage now turns to real estate asset tokenization. This, I think, is an exciting area and this really gets, this really captures my attention. So it says, Ripple and Fubon Bank have become partners for a CBDC pilot program. They will explore the use cases of CBDC focusing on tokenized real estate assets in Hong Kong. The head of Web3 and Cripple, and sorry, and crypto at Ripple, Emi Yoshikawa, says that the company has done a long-term collaboration with Fubon Bank. It is a Taiwan-based fintech major. This collaboration is initiated by Hong Kong Monetary Authorities, HKMAs, using eHKD as strength within the CBDC pilot program. The CBDC pilot program was launched with the aim to improve the speed and efficiency of payments using its own central bank digital currency. It is basically based on three parameters. The three parameters of the pilot program. The first parameter is using the technology and legal base for implementation of CBDC. The second parameter is focused on research and pilots. And the third parameter is introducing eHKD. Okay, so the first parameter is using the technology and legal base for um, implementation. So basically they're saying because of the technology, it can exist. Then the second parameter is to take that, focusing on research, and then pilot it, test it. And then the third parameter is introducing the actual tokenized eHKD. It goes on to say the HKMA announced the launch of a Cyber Hong Kong dollar pilot project on May 18th. This program is an experiment with the development and adoption of the blockchain based version of the Hong Kong dollar. With this, the HKMA also announces the use of eHKD in six categories, offline payments, tokenization, this will include the tokenized deposits and settlements of tokenized assets, settlements of Web3 transactions, programmable payments. Ripple and Fubon will work in assembly for tokenization of real estate and equity release. The combination of use cases of eHKD and the role of XRP make Ripple excited for the partnership. Fubon is one of the biggest financial holding companies in Taiwan. By 2030, the real-world asset tokenization is predicted to be a multi-trillion, trillion dollar industry. It is used with financial services and government sectors. It doesn't get any bigger than that, folks. It does not get any bigger than that. Government sectors. Ripple will use it by combining eHKD, tokenized real estate, and lending protocols. This will run on a private and secure ledger. They are built with the XRPL technology. CBDC is a virtual currency created by the central bank. The central bank provides the option seeing the popularity of cryptocurrency and stable coins. This will give the unique advantages of central money in settlement, liquidity, and integrity. It also limits the risks of frauds and delays. The data excuse me, the data will be under the governance. It will improve the privacy and cross-border payments. HKMA said that they will create a CBDC expert group. They will provide the collaboration between the government, organizations, and industry. Ripple's main focus is development of technology. Ripple and Fubon Bank together with development projects for other industries too. The vice president of Ripple says that their main focus is development in the Asia Pacific region. He also stated that the Asia Pacific region has many progressive regulators like HKMA. So again, we see that they are, Ripple that is, is 
going where the regulators are friendly and where they're progressive, where they've given clarity already. It goes on to say, it seems that HKMA is interested in taking advantage of blockchain technology. It is an honor participating in HKMA's eHKD pilot program. This raises the hope that the real estate asset tokenization seems possible for the people. They are confident that it is the first company to bring leverage of real estate equity asset release. That's interesting because again, being a disruptor in a huge area like real estate and to bring tokenization to real estate and be the first company to do that is really amazing. The, this collaboration of Ripple and Fubon Bank will result in maximizing readiness for a potential eHKD. It will also strengthen the legal control over the currency by participation of central banks, unique advantages of central money and settlement, liquidity and integrity. It also limits the risks of frauds and delays. The data will be under the governance. It will improve the privacy and cross-border payments. HKMA said that they will create a CBDC expert group. They will provide a collaboration between government, organizations, and industry. Yeah, I think the main thing is with CBDCs, of course, they have settlement, liquidity, and integrity. You have to trust your money, and that's one major advantage that CBDCs give us, right? All right, this article is Ripple wants to integrate CBDCs with DeFi. There's some good little nuggets in here because Ripple's James Wallace reveals Hong Kong-backed CBDC initiative integrating tokenized real estate and Web3 lending. I always like it when you can quote a Ripple employee, and James Wallace is one that we've met before, so let's see what he has to say. Ripple, the issuer of the sixth largest cryptocurrency, XRP, said it's seeking to integrate central bank digital currency with DeFi primitives. James Wallace, the vice president of central bank engagements and CBDCs at Ripple, said in an interview with Payments that his, first, that his firm is working on a project backed by the Hong Kong Monetary Authority to explore a CBDC-powered lending protocol supporting tokenized real estate as collateral. You see these different elements of Web3 coming together, Wallace said. You've got the ability to tokenize your property and then to actually take out loans against that using a DeFi lending protocol. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, this is a huge market right here. I'm going to read that again. You see these different elements of Web3 coming together, Wallace said. You've got the ability to tokenize your property and then to actually take out loans against that using a DeFi lending protocol. That's amazing. Central bank digital currencies or CBDCs refer to digital monies issued by a central bank via a distributed ledger. Decentralization proponents criticize CBDC for benefiting the government with significant efficiency savings and vast financial surveillance capabilities without providing any of the benefits associated with distributed ledger technology to citizens. CBDC issuers retain total control over currencies issued, including the minting, distribution, redemption, and destruction of tokens. CBDCs and DeFi. But Wallace paints a different story for the future of CBDCs arguing that central bank money will become integrated with use cases popular in DeFi and Web3. The internet of value is going to have central bank money as part of it, and we want to be a facilitator for that, he said. Wallace said Ripple received hundreds of applications, including some exploring lending protocols and how you can leverage some of the DeFi aspects of crypto for the company's CBDC innovative hackathon kicking off on May 15th. Wow, I, I like that sentence. The internet of value is going to have central bank money as part of it, and we want to be a facilitator for that. Yeah, like let's be behind all the money that flows online and on the internet and everywhere. Let, like let's, let's be the company behind that. That's, that's amazing. All right, Ripple CBDC platform. Wallace's remarks coincided with the public launch of Ripple CBDC platform. Ripple described the platform as a full stack solution 
enabling central banks, governments, and financial institutions to launch a digital currency. The platform leverages the same blockchain technology underpinning the XRP ledger to manage accounts and settle transactions. Wallace said, the platform focuses on enabling three core use cases for CBDC, settling cross-border transactions, facilitating domestic payments, and interbank settlements, sometimes referred to as wholesale CBDC. All right, so settling cross-border transactions, so international, inter, um, international, facilitating domestic payments, so then within a country, and then interbank settlements, so between banks. Ripple is already working with several governments on CBDC initiatives. The Republic of Palau, a Micronesian arch archipelago home to a population of less than 20,000, has already signed up to use the platform. Sir Angel Whips Jr., president of Palau, said the CBDC will provide his country's citizens with greater financial access. Ripple is also working with Montenegro on issuing national currency issued by its central bank that is pegged to the euro. Montenegro is currently applying for EU status and has officially used the euro as its de facto currency since 2002. Wallace said most governments turn to CBDCs for improved efficiency, particularly in the context of cross-border settlement. Without exception, every project that we're involved in has cross-border payments as one of the top topics that they want to improve, whether that's for remittance, trade flow, or different reasons, he said. Wallace estimated more than 90% of countries worldwide are currently engaged in initiatives researching or developing CBDCs. End of article. Yeah, so <laughs> we have the premier company at the premier front of the premier trend of the largest change in money that's happening. And that is so exciting. It doesn't get any bigger than this. It does not get any bigger than governments and money. And when you talk about 90% of countries worldwide are already engaged in moving to this new format in one form or another, this is exciting stuff. And 45 cent XRP is not anywhere near what this is going to be worth, in my opinion. So we have to stay focused, understand the value of what we own, and how incredibly early we are. So have patience, be a long-term investor for at least part of your bag. And um, I think this was exciting information today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to get more from me, there are podcasts I do three times a week. You can also find those on my YouTube channel at Linda P. Jones, or you can find me on Twitter at Linda P. Jones, Instagram at Linda P. Jones, or check out my website for uh, my latest book, Three Steps to Quantum Wealth, The Wealth Heiress's Guide to Financial Freedom by Investing in Cryptocurrencies, where I compare the internet boom and bubble and tech boom to the crypto boom and what we're going through now and how history is repeating itself as an amazing opportunity to create wealth and financial freedom for yourself. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart.